Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackie and I've been doing a series on my channel where I talk about the paranormal things that have happened to me and so today what we're going to be talking about is my experience with the black-eyed children. So this is something that I thought I was never going to talk about because it was so traumatizing and terrifying and I'm the type of person I feel like if if I talk about this stuff, I feel like it's gonna happen again. So that's why I never talked about it. But I figured it's been so many years, like it doesn't really matter. And I feel like you guys would wanna hear this. And if you don't hear from me after this video, you know who got me. So let's just get straight into the video. <laughs> So if you don't know what black eyed children, I'll read you a little definition of what they are. So black eyed children are an American contemporary legend of paranormal creatures that resemble children between ages 6 and 16 with pale skin and black eyes who are reportedly seen hitchhiking, panhandling, or encountered on a doorstep of residential homes. These children do not look threatening. They would want to get into your house or your car. They will be persistent. Suddenly, you will notice something is not right about these children. Their eyes, pure black from lid to lid, dead black orbs, devoid of sclera, sclera, I don't know how to say that, or iris, will chill up, will send a chill up your spine. You'll finally come across the black-eyed children. They will appear at people's home or vehicle, knock on the door, then insist upon getting inside. Anyone who encountered them has almost immediately felt an overwhelming sense of dread. Demonologists believe they are children of the devil himself and if you let them in, you are allowing the devil to enter your life. They want to enter your home to call their parents, however upon making eye contact it seems like there is a much sinister plot to the story. Okay, so this is something that happened when I was probably like 12 or 13. So to give you a backstory. I live in Southern California and there's a mountain nearby. It's like an hour and a half away from my house and it's called Big Bear. So all growing up, we owned some cabins up in Big Bear and we'd go and spend the entire summers there and a lot of the winter there snowboarding. So this takes place up in Big Bear at our cabin. This happened in the winter time because I remember it was snowing. Our cabin was a really tiny cabin. It was one room. so. You'd walk up the staircase and the front door would be right there. And so when you'd open the door, you'd have a stove, a countertop, and a fridge. So it was like the kitchen area right here, super tiny. And then on the other side of the doorway, it was a little table. So this is like, um, I'd say it was probably like an eight foot long room. It was super small. When you'd walk past the stove and everything, you'd come into the only room in the whole place. So it was a little living room with like a couch and TV and the couch pulled out into a bed. So that's where everyone would sleep. And then there was one little tiny bedroom with a bed in it. And it's, it's all in the same room though. And then on the, on the right side of that room, there was the bathroom. So it was a small cabin. You'd walk in the door and you'd see the entire thing. As I said before, you'd walk up the stairs and enter the cabin. But on the other side of the stairs, on the bottom level, was the garage. But no cars actually sat in there. It was more like, more like a basement or a shed connected to the house. So in there, it was just a bunch of our stuff. It wasn't clean or anything. It was just this weird area with, and halfway through it, there was this platform that stuff would sit on. And this room was like completely dirt too. In the place our cabin sat, there were a bunch of other houses around us, but if you walked like 50 feet, you were completely in the woods, completely deep in the woods. So now that you know the background of this, it's, we can start telling the real story now. It was in winter since it was snowing, so I'm guessing it was around December or January when we were there. Like I said, I was 12 or 13 years old. A lot of times my parents and brother would go into the little town to have dinner or do whatever and at that age I didn't really want to do anything so most of the time I just want to stay home and watch TV. So they would decide to go out to dinner to the Mexican restaurant 
and I decided I didn't want to go so I stayed home at the cabin all by myself and I was just watching TV on this tiny little old TV we had. As I'm laying there one night, it was probably around like 8 o'clock at this time but since it was winter it gets dark really fast so it was pitch dark, there were no lights on our street, nothing, it was pitch black. I'm watching TV and I start to hear this noise that sounded like talking. But at first I didn't even register it because I was watching TV so I just kind of, I didn't register it, I just heard it. And then after like five minutes it started to click like, hold on, what am I hearing? So I put the TV on mute and I heard very quiet mumbling coming from somewhere. It sounded like kids mumbling outside or I don't even know where they were. So I was a fr very friendly kid. I always wanted to make friends with other kids. If I saw some kids playing outside, I'd go straight up to them and join in. I heard some kids talking outside and at first I was like, oh cool, like maybe I'll go outside and see if I can play with them or whatever. But then the thought crossed my mind like, oh it's snowing outside, it's dark and cold, I don't know if I want to go out there. And then I started to think like, wow, I can't believe their parents let them go out this late in the snow and everything. Because at that age, you know how your parents are like, oh, you have to be home by this time or you don't, you can't go outside because it's snowing and it's late. So I was just thinking like, wow, their parents are so cool. They're allowed to be outside at this time all by themselves. In that moment, I didn't think anything of it. Like I said, I was kind of jealous that they're able to be outside at that time all by themselves. And so I continue watching TV. About 10 minutes goes by and the voices start getting louder. So I just thought, oh, they must be walking down the road right here, playing in the forest or doing whatever, getting closer. At this point, I really wanted to go outside. And so I turned off the TV and just listened to them. And <laughs> I don't know, I was bored and lonely, so I just listened to them. So out of nowhere, I started to get this really weird feeling. I remember just getting scared for some reason and I could feel my heart like pounding super hard and I didn't know what was happening. I think looking back now, I think it was a panic attack, but back then I just thought I was scared. There's something wrong. I don't know what it is. I don't want to be home alone right now. I went to call my parents and it goes straight to voicemail and that's when I remember we have no service at our cabin whatsoever. No bars. So just that alone made me even more scared and this was just like a feeling of like dread. It was super weird, nothing even happened, but it was just like washing over my body. And then at the peak of me being terrified, there's a knock at the door. And so at that moment, I felt like I was gonna pass out. I was so scared, I was shaking. My parents always told me, don't answer the door for anyone if we're not home, especially when we're in the woods like that, because we don't know anyone. We don't know any neighbors or anything. So I didn't know who it could be. The person knocks, nothing happens, and I wait for a couple minutes. I don't hear anyone. I just act like there's no one home. A couple minutes go by, the knock happens again, and I hear a kid's voice say, can I come in? I'm cold. And so that kind of made me feel relieved. I'm like, oh, it's just the kids. Like, it's not some weird man. I hear a little girl say, can I come in? It's cold. And so I get up, I'm still having this like internal debate, like, okay, should I be scared? Like, should I open the door for them? I don't know what to do. As I start walking to the door, there's this window right next to it, and it has those type of blinds where you like twist the thing and they'll like shut completely, or you can have it like cracked a little bit. So I remember walking up and kind of like peeking through at first, and I saw two kids standing there. It was a boy and a girl, probably like, eight or nine years old and I remember thinking like that's super strange because they were the boy was wearing a short sleeve shirt like a button up short sleeve shirt and shorts that were above his knee and no shoes and for the girl she's wearing a dress with no shoes as well so I thought that was super weird considering it was freezing and snowing and they were just standing there but I remember thinking maybe they need help like I don't I don't know why else they'd be outside like this wearing those clothes unless they lost their parents or something happened. So I'm standing there looking at them and at this point their feet, their backs are to the door so I only see their backsides. They turn around and I duck my head back really quickly. <clears throat> they knock on the door again and they say, let us in, we need help, we're hungry, you need to let us in. 
stand behind the door where they can't see me. They knock again and they say, will you please let us in? We need help. We know someone is there. And at that point, I was so scared because something in me was telling me this isn't right. Don't open the door for them. I'm just standing there and it sounds like they start to walk away. So I go back to the window to look and right when I turn the corner to look out the window, they're both standing there staring directly at me. And at first I was kind of just shocked and frozen in horror. I, I couldn't, it felt like I could not move my body. And I'm trying to think, okay, what's off with them? Something seems weird. This, this doesn't look like normal kids. What is it? And as I slowly look up at them, I see that their eyes are completely black. There's no white, there's no color, there's nothing. They're completely black. And at that point, I just snapped out of it and I just ran into the other room, locked myself in the one little bedroom there was and hid in the closet and waited until my parents got home. And I remember there's another window in there that faces that same exact area. So I was just hoping, I remember just hoping and praying that they would not go to that window and like bang on it or try to get in through that window. But nothing ever happened. They didn't knock on the door again. I don't know where they went, but I just waited for my parents to get home. Uh, they got home like 30 minutes later and I was like bawling. I told them what happened and they didn't really believe me, but I was like, there were kids out there. They, their eyes were black. Like I don't, they weren't wearing shoes. And so my dad went outside and looked for any kids and he couldn't find any. But then as he comes back in, he said, there were two sets of kid size footprints exiting the patio or the porch area and staircase going down. But there were none coming up to it. And that was, I don't know if it just like snowed over it real quick or what, but it just scared me. So after that, they did believe me that there were kids standing there, but they just didn't really think they were, had black eyes or whatever. I didn't even know what I saw that day. I had no idea what black eyed children were. I didn't know it was a thing until about probably a year ago when I really started watching YouTube and seeing all these stories on black eyed children or this about them, that, like all this stuff. And the first time I watched one of those videos, I remember my jaw dropping, my heart pounding, feeling like I was gonna throw up because I knew that is what I had come in contact with. And I'm so thankful for that voice that day who told me to not open that door for them. So I don't know if it was like my subconscious talking to me or like a guardian angel, I have no idea, but I'm just so happy I did not open that door. And I cannot believe I came in contact with them, but that was this one of the scariest things that has ever happened to me. And like ever since then, we sold that cabin like a couple years later, but ever since then, I never stayed at that cabin home alone. I didn't even really want to go up there. And when I did, I wouldn't look out the windows. I wouldn't answer the door i just it was traumatizing but that is my story on when i encountered the black eyed children and if you have any stories of encountering them please comment dm or email me i really want to hear them because i find it so fascinating but yeah i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos and also go follow all my socials. They are linked right down below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.